Happy Friday, Mustangs. Hope you guys have all had a fantastic week here at Bluffton Middle School. Guys, we are here together today for our March Roundup where we will honor and recognize our February Mustangs of the Month for exemplifying the character trait of honesty and also integrity and also to recognize our February Teacher of the Month. Students, at this time, like we always do, let's check out our February Bring Back. So students, you know we talked about honesty and integrity during the month of February. And we talked about the importance of making sure you are always being honest and how you guys are going to make mistakes in life. Everybody makes mistakes in life. But when those mistakes happen, it's critical that you always are truthful and honest about that. And by being honest, that helps preserve your integrity. And integrity is something that is very, very powerful. It's something that is very important to always uh, ensure that you preserve because once you lose your integrity, it's hard to get it back with people. So integrity can also be thought of as your character. It could also be thought of uh, as your trustworthiness, whether or not people trust you, um, if you're a person of your word. So I gave you a charge last month um, and that was, when you mess up, fess up. Do the right thing because it's the right thing. Preserve your character. Because when it's gone, all is gone. Be brave. Find your true north. And always, Mustangs, never give in. And the last, uh, number four and number five here, be brave and find your true north. What we meant by be brave is, as you guys move on through life, you're going to experience peer pressure. You're going to be encouraged to do things that you know aren't right. You're going to see other people doing things that aren't right. And at the time, they may get away with it. And there might be this deep sense, this urge that you may have. We'll talk about that now this month. But you may have this urge to do the same thing. But you know deep down inside that it's the wrong thing. You have to make sure that you are brave in those situations, guys, and always do the right thing. And when you see somebody doing something wrong, you've got to have that level of courage to step up and let somebody know what exactly happened. Be the person of high integrity who can step up and do the right thing, even when it's difficult. Those are the great people in this world. So students, what I want you to do real quick, I'm gonna give you time now. Make sure you find a partner nearby, turn and talk, have a class discussion, 30 seconds. I want you guys to reflect over the past month. Give one example of when you were faced with a tough situation where you were in trouble and deep down you didn't wanna tell the truth, but ultimately you practiced honesty, you showed a high level of integrity and you did the right thing. Think about that and share out with a partner. 30 seconds, go. All right, guys, I'm going to bring you back. Everyone, again, find that true north. Remember, your moral compass, keeping you on that straight path to greatness. Mustangs, it has been a great month in February, and we cannot wait to celebrate all of you um, later on during Roundup. At this time, we do want to start talking about March. And so now, in the month of March, we are focused on a new character trait. And I hinted at the urge. Sometimes you might have that urge. In the month of February, or excuse me, the month of March, is all about being able to manage those urges because we are practicing the character trait of self-control. So students, self-control we know is a noun and it is the ability to control oneself, in particular one's emotions and desires or the expression of them in our behavior, especially in difficult decisions. I want you to think, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. You heard me read that definition. What do you think is the most important part of that definition. 10 seconds, think to yourself, go. All right, that's time. 
Students, for me, when I reflect and when I think on this definition, the most important part of it is actually the last four words of the definition, especially in difficult situations. Being able to control yourself, especially in those difficult situations. Let's check out a video real quick to learn more about our character trait of the month. self-control. I want to talk to you very quickly about three of the uh, quotes that stuck out to me uh, in this video. Maybe they stuck out to you as well. The first one is that silence is not always a sign of weakness. It's also a sign of strength and self-control. And I think a lot of us, especially at, at this age, and uh, I believe it was last year, guys, we talked about um, the study that was done with preteens and teenagers related to their cell phones and how they put a teenager in a room with just a couch and a table in front of them and video cameras around and they told the teenager set a timer on your cell phone for 20 minutes put your phone flat down on the table the only other thing in the room was a glass of water and you cannot touch your phone or look at your phone for 20 straight minutes there was no other stimuli in the room and it took everything in these teens not to look at their phone. Their Insta is going off. Their text messages are going off. Their messengers are going off. Their phone is ringing. They're getting the phone calls. They're getting the FaceTimes. Everything through social media they're being flooded with. And so this research study actually found that you guys aren't able to shut it down and turn yourselves off from your phone. And that's where this piece in this quote, what I find so powerful is the piece about silence. Guys, we have to be able to disconnect. You have to be able to put that phone away. You have to be able to put that device away. You have to be able to shut it off and just be with yourself sometimes. Be able to just sit in silence without anything else going on around you and be able to be at peace so that you are able to practice that self-control. It takes so much, so much power as a human to be able to just be and have nothing else going on around you. It actually takes practice. You actually have to invest in it. You actually have to have the mental toughness to actually withstand those urges that you have. So one, that would be something good for you guys to try if you have an opportunity one time without having to turn a TV on. Literally, go sit at home, sit in your room, whatnot, nothing else on, nothing else around you, no book, no toys, nothing. 
sit and see if you can lay on your bed for 20 straight minutes doing nothing and stay awake without responding to any of the stimuli around you in your world. Give it a shot. I'd be interested to see how many of you can actually make it and be successful at it. Silence is a sign of strength, and it is a significant sign of self-control. Think about how many adults where the second there's a moment of silence in the room, what does everybody do? Oh, oh awkward silence, awkward silence, right? It's not necessary. Silence is a good thing. You're able to think more clearly in those moments of silence. So give that shot, give that a, give that test a little try at home, students, and I'd love to hear your results. Another big quote, what lies in our power to do, it also lies in our power not to do. Let me say that again. What lies in our power to do, it lies in our power not to do. And that resonates with me a lot, especially here in the middle school. What do we often say when somebody does something wrong to us? What do we, what do we say quite often? Well, I'm going to do it back to them. They did it to me. What lies in our power to do? Yes, you can react. You absolutely can. You have the power to do that. But because you have the power to do that, you also have the power, it lies within you, not to do it. And it takes the bigger person, guys, not to react to those wrongs in life that makes the great people stand out from the others. So I really, really encourage you guys, make sure that in those moments where you have that, that initial response where you want to react, you want to say something back to that person, you want to go back after that person, you want to try to make that person feel worse than they made you feel, be the bigger person, be the tougher person, be the stronger person, and be able to walk away from that. The last quote that I thought was really great in that video was, Control yourself or someone else will control you. Now think through that. Control yourself or someone else will control you. We've got a lot of people in this world, guys. A lot of people in the world where they don't always practice self-control. And a lot of times as you get older, that manifests itself in us breaking the law or committing crimes. And when that happens, when we aren't able to practice self-control, when we aren't able to do what is right, when we aren't able to follow through with the expectations of society, there are people that will control us. You will have people that will make decisions for you and for your life because ultimately we couldn't practice self-control from the start. Don't ever let somebody control you. Don't ever let somebody be the one who's responsible for making the decisions in your life. And it starts with self-control. So always make sure you're doing the right thing. Make sure you're taking those deep breaths in those moments where you feel stress. Make sure you are taking time to pause and think through your actions before you react. And when you react, make sure that it is with self-control and for the betterment of you. One other thing that I talked to many of you around the building about is not letting somebody hijack your brain. Some of you have heard me say this before. Don't let somebody hijack your brain. What I mean by that when we have those conversations, it's always in relationship to somebody coming up to you and getting you all boosted up, getting inside your head, talking it up about what so-and-so said or what so-and-so did and how that how you should do something back or you should say something or you should do this. That's a bunch of noise, guys, coming into us. And that's, again, people controlling us. So when I talk about not letting somebody hijack your brain, hijack your emotions, when you let other people control that and you let people get you excited and get worked up and you haven't gotten the facts of the story yet, or you haven't experienced it firsthand, and then you react to it immediately, students and adults, we're all guilty of it. That sets us up for failure sometimes, guys. And that's where self-control comes in. 
You've got to be able to take those moments where people are coming at you. So-and-so said this. So-and-so said, so-and-so did this. I saw so-and-so with your boyfriend. I saw so-and-so with your girlfriend. Did you hear what so-and-so's parent did? Did you hear what so-and-so student? When all of that is being flooded at you, you have to be able to step up, take those deep breaths, take the pause. Remember, that's hearsay. That's secondhand information. You haven't heard any of that for your own good or for a fact. You don't know what's true from an untruth. And so you've got to take the time. You've got to practice self-control. And you've got to think through what the right response will be. Because in that moment, that person is high, trying to hijack your emotions in your brain. And if you respond in that moment, you're probably not going to like the response that you have the next day, the following day. So always, always remember, in those moments where you feel yourself getting worked up, Take those deep breaths, pause, and practice self-control. You'll make better decisions. You'll feel better. Ultimately, you will become that great, successful person that you want to be. All right, guys, our announcements for this week. Everybody, spring sports are back. So excited. Cannot wait to get out there and see our girls and boys soccer team. They had a game canceled this Monday, which was unfortunate. Uh, but they are going to be back in action. Make sure you come and check them out and make sure that you are ready to see and support all of our student athletes this spring, which also includes our baseball team and our girls and boys track team. So good luck to all of our spring athletes. Also, good luck to all of our students who are actually competing up at the high school level. We're very proud of you. Keep up the great work. Make sure that I get a copy of your schedule, guys, and I'll do everything I can in my power to come up and see some of y'all playing on that JV or varsity level. So good luck to all the spring athletes. Also, school students, don't forget, school choice is open. Guys, if you have great friends who are attending other schools in the area, not that anybody is better or less than, we've got school choice. Tell them how great our school is. Invite them on over. Make sure that they know School Choice is open for this entire month. It opened on Monday, and it will stay open through March 31st. If anybody wants to come for a school tour, let your friends know and your family know. They can come on Thursdays from 845 to 945 for the entire month of March. They do need to call the front office to schedule an appointment. So make sure you're always spreading the great things about Bluffton Middle School. Guys, it's been a great week here at Bluffton Middle with Read Across America Week. We've seen a lot of great activities happening in our ELA classes. We know we're pushing reading and writing across the curriculum in all areas every day of the week, but this was a special week where we celebrated uh, reading and National Reading Day. Thank you to our ELA team and department for putting on some special events, and also to Ms. McKenzie, who helped uh, spearhead that with our ELA department. Students, don't forget, next Thursday, and parents, those of you watching, next Thursday, we have a PTO and SIC meeting. PTO meets at the school at 5 o'clock. SIC meets via Zoom at 6 o'clock. We'd love to have you in attendance. Also, students, spring map is right around the corner, guys. It's going to be March 23rd and 24th. Students, don't fret, don't stress, don't worry. Yes, we know this is early. Our school district wants to do it a little bit early so we can see where you currently stand right now in the spring so that we can now prepare all of April and May leading up to our statewide tests in June so that we can better prepare you guys so that you are ready to knock out those state assessments. So students, again, spring map will be on the 23rd and 24th. Guys, remember, it wasn't but two months ago we were celebrating all the success of Bluffton Middle. We're going to do it again in the spring. Make sure that we are focused. Make sure we do the best that we possibly can like we always do. And let's rise to the top with some first place finishes in the district again. So proud of you Mustangs. Keep up the great academic excellence.